I was 18, I got an apprenticeship at the Little Angel Theatre, which I was really lucky to get because um, there were lots of people that applied. Um, and I got it mainly because I think I'd done so much other stuff before I came there. So I've been making puppets since I was about 13, 14, and I'd made puppets for quite a lot of shows in here. Well, I think the first puppet I ever made here was a mouse for a show called Dick Whittington. Uh, called Archibald and he popped out from behind a shop counter and did a little song. Hello there, don't mind me, I'm Archibald Mouse. I'm um, the uh, new lighting operator here at Questus Theatre. I'm really experienced. Obviously they wanted the best of the best. So I think the reason I got into puppetry was more because I quite like problem solving. I quite like uh, to be able to come up with a way of solving solving a kind of creative issue or trying to make something that might not exist you know in real life uh, and I quite like what I prefer to do is if somebody like a director or a designer comes to me with a problem saying okay I need a giant rabbit that can come through a hole and blink how, how do you do that and then that's that's where I get interested and I can you know try and come up with something so, you know some puppeteers like to come up with things from scratch, like to create their own problems to solve, whereas actually I prefer to work with something that already exists. In one of the pantomimes here, uh, which was called Mother Goose, I played uh, the Abominable Snowman, which was a big, huge Yeti costume. It's very similar to Big Bird from Sesame Street, so I'm actually physically inside it and it's strapped to my shoulders and I have to operate the head above me. Really, I got very little vision out of it. When we were rehearsing, I'd rehearse without the head so I knew where all the movement would be and where everybody on stage would be. And then I had a tiny little slit in the, the, the neck, but I could only see if the puppet looked up. So if he was straight ahead, I wouldn't be able to see. Um, but I could just see if I flipped the head up slightly, I could just see through the little gap. Um, so what I would normally do is if I was gonna go somewhere, the puppet would look up and then he'd look down again and then I'd just walk to where I needed to go. And I did bump into children during the rehearsals quite a lot, but it never happened on a show, luckily. So I've got two puppets here today. So this is the dog from The Dog and the Scarf. And he's actually, he's made out of styrofoam, but he's got a wooden structure on the inside um, that he, that has all the, uh, all the joints on it so that he can move all of his body. And he's got an open mouth. Now I actually didn't make him for the show. I made him when I was on my apprenticeship at Little Angel. And I, um, it's not really my design, although I put it together, it was made uh, based on the design of another puppeteer called Peter O'Rourke, who was one of the people that trained me. Oh, it's you again. Now, I know what you're thinking. What is the incredible Archibald Mouse doing in the box office of the Questus Theatre? I'm making a star appearance, so my adoring fans are lining up to see me. I don't think I really describe myself as an artist, um, just because I think with it, anything that I do, I always have a purpose, uh, a purpose behind it. Whereas I think an art, someone who's an artist might just create art for the sake of art, which is amazing, an amazing thing, which is not really what I do. I make things. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. 